What's up guys? Well, I'm finally going to try one of these half pipe cigars here. This one is the uh, half pipe Epic Red, which I believe is a cherry um, tobacco inside. I'll read a little bit more about it online as I get into smoking it, but here's the packaging. So it's kind of like vacuum packed. All right, it's got a little tear thing here. So we're going to open that up. Oh man, that is super strong cherry. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's basically like a cherry Cavendish on the inside and a Habano wrapper. Oh man, this thing's screaming of cherry pipe tobacco. I don't know, that's literally all I smell. So anyway, here's the, the label. All right, half pipe. Pretty large label here. Epic red. And then on top is a little picture of a pipe right there so anyway this is ooh, I took the cutter out here but it's already cut for you there's a punch cut on this so that's kind of nice you don't need a cutter just buy one and ready to smoke right out of the package okay so <laughs> this thing is this is probably the most cherry dominant flavor I've ever gotten out of a cigar without even lighting it it is super cherry filled um, and also the tip is sweetened. I get a little bit of a spiciness just from the uh, Habano wrapper itself, but there's definitely some kind of a sugary solution on there. So we're going to go with the matches again since I still have them out here. See how that works out. Okay. Completely lit, so that worked out nicely. Super cold today, as you can see from my breath, but it's not windy, which uh, makes a huge difference. So, let's see what we think. Epic red. A ton of cherry. But that is, um, that is specifically a, a Cavendish flavor, you know, I mean, it's, it's a cigar wrapper jam-packed with pipe tobacco, so it's kind of exactly how you think it would be. Um, it's very curious to see if it would be anything different. I mean, this is exactly what I expected, which truthfully is pretty rare. You know, sometimes when you get a certain cigar, you have an expectation of what it's supposed to be, maybe because someone else told you, maybe because of something you read online, and like 99% of the time, it's not exactly what you expected. You know, someone says it's supposed to be chocolatey or supposed to be nutty. Maybe get a little bit of that, but it's like, oh, well, it's a little spicier than I thought or it's a little stronger than I thought or whatever. It's never like spot on exactly what you thought. <laughs> this is a spot on exactly what I thought. I can also tell you that these are humidified perfectly. I mean, there's a good amount of squish to this. It's not dried out whatsoever again contributing to the uh, the packaging here these can probably sit they don't have to be in your humidor i didn't have this in the humidor but i am assuming i think i'm safe in assuming that that can sit on your shelf for months on ends and it'll be the same consistency when you're ready to smoke it so that's kind of nice you know some people have a hard time uh, especially when you first get into uh, cigar smoking and you buy a humidor it, it's um you know, difficult for some people to kind of get used to maintaining one properly and keeping the right humidity so they don't get too dry or too moist. Because when a cigar is too dry, it burns extremely hot, plus very prone to, you know, cracking wrappers and ripping and stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, when it's too moist, it doesn't want to stay lit. A whole separate, you know, issues there. And obviously mold. Mold and, uh, you know, mildew is the, the biggest issue with cigars that are humidified too much. So... So far, I like it. I like it a lot. It, it really does taste like cherry Cavendish. Um, the flavor is still very much cherry, but the smell was just like overwhelming. It was like a, a Drew Estate, you know, infused cherry thing going on. But, um, you know, each puff I take, it's a little bit less intense with the cherry and just it's a, it's a good amount of cherry. It's not it's not too much. 
you know, taking it out of the package and smelling the thing, I thought it'd be like a literally a cherry bomb, but not so much. The cherry is an underlining flavor. Interesting. Let's see what time it is. Oops, here's my phone. It's uh, four seventeen. All right. So let's say I let this at I don't know ten after maybe. I don't think it's been seven minutes. Maybe thirteen after. Who knows? Let's just assume it was quarter after. It's been two minutes since I've been smoking. Maybe I don't know. I don't have a time thing on my camera, so I have no way of really knowing when I turn the camera on. You never really do O-rings. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm curious, though, as I smoke it, if I'm going to be able to taste any of that uh, wrapper. Because right now, it's just 100% pipe tobacco. It, just, it tastes like I'm smoking a bowl. Um, uh, you know, not that bowl. I know a lot of you guys watch these cigar videos, and, and one of the more common comments always from someone is oh man i would have just gutted that cigar and, and filled it with my own green um not for everyone obviously but clearly i, I enjoy the cigars so uh yeah also it's a fairly light pack i mean you can see the burn already just a few minutes in i don't think this is going to be a super long smoke uh, I'd be surprised if it was longer than an hour. Um, if I had to guess, maybe 40 minutes, something like that, 45 minutes. But we'll see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to keep smoking it and tell you if anything changes. Uh, if not, I'll get back to you when I get down to the, uh, you know, the band here. So we'll be back. All right. So I'm back for a second here. I'm going to read more about the cigar, but I also want to mention that I'm trying to slow down smoking this a little bit. Because it's a flavored pipe tobacco inside, it works the same in a cigar that it does inside of a bowl. And that is, if you smoke it too fast, it gets way too hot because of the sugars and stuff like that. So if you're puffing on this thing, and I'm, I'm smoking normally, how I normally would smoke, but I do have to, I found that I have to smoke it a little bit slower because as it, it warms up and stuff, um, it blows out that flavor. Like I'm tasting less cherry and more of like hot tobacco, you know, thing going on. So I'm gonna let that rest for a moment and we're gonna read about this cigar. So uh, first first Google search result for the uh, Epic Red um, Half Pipe is JR Cigars. They're selling a 10 pack of these for $15.55, which makes them $1.50 a stick. Um, or $1.55 technically a stick minus shipping. That's cheap. That's pretty cool. Um, it also says it's a 5x42 stick, which I do agree with. It says uh, Half Pipe Epic Red Cigars feature a unique combination of premium vanilla, burley, and toasted Cavendish pipe tobacco covered with a sturdy binder and an oily Habano wrapper, bring, bridging the gap between a nice bowl of tobacco and a good cigar. You will experience a mellow, satisfying smoke that is nutty, creamy, and toasty with hints of luscious, sweet cherry in both flavor and aroma. So, <laughs> cherry, absolutely. We know that's there. Is it luscious and, what do they say? Creamy, nutty, and toasty. Creamy, nutty, and toasty. Let's see here. Creamy, maybe a little. It's not nutty at all. Toasty, okay, I see. I can, I can get that kind of a toasted cherry thing going on. I don't really taste anything nutty here, though. But it is, yeah, it is sweet and creamy. So, uh, let that rest again for a little bit here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Habano wrapper, pipe tobacco filler, natural tobacco leaf binder. Uh, origin, Dominican Republic, and it's supposed to be mellow, which it certainly is. This is a mellow cigar. I would recommend this for a, uh, a flavored cigar for a beginner. You know, it's not going to kick your butt or anything. I don't have any kind of nicotine kick right now. I don't expect one. Let's go back on uh, the Google and find another site here selling it. And actually, it looks like uh, the only one. <laughs> I typed in Half Pipe Epic Red. 
Let's see if uh, Half Pipe Cigars pulls up something different here. It looks like JR Cigar is the only one. Oh no, here, Famous Smoke. Let's see. Also Cup of Joe's. Yeah, right, there's a bunch of places that sell it, which you guys already know because you looked it up for me and told me about it. Now, for example, Famous Smoke, they have a 10-pack for $20. So a little bit more expensive there. But even so, $2 a stick. Oh, it's definitely worth it, by the way. If you're curious about this and you're like, oh, is it worth it? 100%. $1.50 to $2 a stick, totally worth it. But it looks like most of these places, if not all of them, sell uh, boxes of them. So if you go to order online, it doesn't look like you can buy singles. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Same deal, same information, he uh, same information here on this site. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So... I'll take the band off in a second here because on that side you can see it's getting a little bit close. Definitely cherry, definitely sweet, sure a little creamy, no nuttiness. That's what I'm experiencing. Let's see if I can get this wrapper off by sliding it. I've been pretty successful with sliding wrappers. Every now and again, it, you know, it takes a chance. You don't want to rip the actual wrapper. I mean, what did I say? Sliding wrappers? Sliding bands off of wrappers. So obviously if you tear your wrapper, you're in trouble there. But this one seems to be just loose enough where you can slide it off. So I like flattening these out and then I put them in my little cigar band holder, which you probably saw a video on. Alright, so there we go. Cool band. And let's do a time check real quick. Let's see what time it is. 427. So even though I'm slowing down smoking this, it's still uh, probably going to be a short smoke here. So take a sip of water. Another cold day outside. But it's beautiful. Let me spin you around here for a second, show you what I'm looking at. So there you go, that's my view. When I'm looking at the camera, that's what's behind it. But sitting here right now, it's just peaceful. Dead silent, except for every now and again a car will go up the road. And it's snowing, I know you might not be able to tell, but it's a very fine snow. And although it's cold, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful sitting here. All right, back to me. So even though it is beautiful, and uh, you know it's nice to come out here and, and smoke, um, it's cold. It's cold in the winter time. Uh, the reason I do it, people ask me sometimes, you know, hey, why don't you just smoke inside? Is it easier for a video? I would love to smoke inside. I just I don't. When I first got into um, you know pipe smoking, cigar smoking, I just made that decision that I'm never going to smoke inside the house. Just because the smoke has to go somewhere, and a lot of people don't realize that, but people, if you go into homes that you know people smoke regularly in there, regardless of whether it's cigarette tobacco or pipe tobacco, it doesn't matter, cigars, smoke is smoke, and uh, it just clings to things. It makes everything in your home sticky and dusty, and it's just, it's not good. Um, the house that I'm in right now, the previous owner, very heavy smoker. Um, he did a lot of gambling stuff. He had TVs in every single room, even in uh, both bathrooms in this house. Um, so wherever he went, he'd be watching the stock market, the little ticker tape on the bottom, watching his stocks, you know, doing online poker, all kinds of stuff like that. But he spent a lot of time inside and he would, you know, smoke a lot. I would imagine with the stress of gambling and, and you know, watching that kind of stuff, he'd just be puffing away on He's a cigarette smoker, but from what I understand, also smoked occasional cigar and stuff. Um, but when I moved in, I literally had to paint every room in the house because there was such a thick film on the walls from smoke from many, many years of smoking that it couldn't even be cleaned. You know, trying to wash it, it was just impossible. So I literally had to clean it as much as possible and then paint over it. So um, having experienced that and going through the trouble of painting the entire house, um, I choose not to smoke inside. So there you go. So yeah. So. It's getting a little dark out here. I might have to go in and turn the light on depending on when this ends, but we'll see. So I'm going to keep smoking until you know, it goes down a little bit more. Like I said, we'll uh, 
we'll check out the lighting situation when the time comes, but right now it is uh, 4.33. All right, all done now. Ash that. Not a whole lot left here, but it's it's super squishy. How we could tell? I mean, it's I'm flatting this thing out. <laughs> so uh, it is a, a light pack. So like I expected, it was less than an hour, but it was still a good amount of time on a, a cigar that costs two bucks or less. Let's see, it's a uh, four fifty-five. I think we started at what we say quarter after. So. Yeah, decent amount of time, but it is it is such a light pack. I mean, you can you could feel it. I mean, physically it's not that heavy, but also when you're smoking, you could just kind of feel the give that that has. So light pack, less than an hour smoke for most people. I do definitely recommend um, smoking it slow, so you can taste all that flavor. It will smoke hot, just like you know regular pipe tobacco would. At least the the Cavendish. So. Um, yeah, I'll take a sip of water here and tell you my experiences because it did change. I didn't get to turn the camera on. I'll tell you that because I was watching the deer. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful buck. <laughs> I don't know if I'll do a separate video or leave it in this one or whatever, but um, it's about four. Look like four buck, one big guy, um, and it looked like two doe with it. But I don't know. Maybe they're just little button bucks or something. Anyway. Uh, Back to the cigar, because that's what this video is about, the cigar, right? So in the beginning, I was telling you that it was all cherry, and it was a little bit creamy and definitely sweet, but it didn't have that nutty thing going on. About halfway through, the cherry dropped almost to nothing, and the nuts came in. I don't know from where, but it was definitely nutty. It just wasn't nutty when it was cherry. So the first half, cherry, awesome, very good. Second half, cherry's barely there. Um, it was very, very nutty. So as far as like the description of that being nutty, I totally get it. I just kind of assumed that it would be throughout the whole stick, but it wasn't. So it was actually really nice that a cheap flavored cigar did actually have like a, a flavor transition, which usually doesn't happen when you have like these, uh, you know, infused cigars, or in this particular case, you know, a, a cherry pipe tobacco. Generally speaking, it tastes the same throughout the whole smoking experience. So that was uh, quite interesting to, uh, to experience that. Um, I would say that uh, I do like them quite a bit, for especially for the price. If I do end up seeing this in a um, you know smoke shop, uh, even a ten pack, whatever, I would definitely spend fifteen or twenty bucks on it. They're very interesting. Um, what I think this is most beneficial for is if you are the cigar smoker that occasionally enjoys a pipe, you'll love the transition here, which is very cool. Or vice versa, if you're a hardcore pipe smoker and you kind of enjoy the occasional cigar. It's just, it's really nice to have that, that pipe flavor thing going on in a cigar package. Specifically because these are pre-punched, they're, they're ready cut, pre-cut, in a package that you don't have to worry about humidifying. These are awesome for travel. If you're a pipe guy and you want to travel somewhere, but you don't want to take your pipe and your tamper, pipe bag, all that kind of stuff with you, because it, it does, you know, get a little cumbersome, I suppose. Uh, this is just a, a, a quick, enjoyable smoke, but it's the same experience you're used to with your pipe. Um... And, and same thing with uh, cigar smokers, you know, you want something different. You, you've been smoking the same type of cigars, and there's only so many different flavors in the cigar world, and you want to transition to something new, it's definitely worth checking out. I think it's really cool. It's just as exciting as I thought it would be. Um, I like them. I'm very excited to try the other ones in the future as well. If you've had the other uh, flavors, let me know what you think down below, as well as with this one. Like I said, for this, it was cherry the first half and, and nutty the second half. So, and it was, you know, slightly creamy and very sweet the entire way through. Um... But yeah, my biggest recommendation is if you're smoking these things, particularly for for um, 
uh, cigar smokers is just to, to slow down a little bit. If you tend to puff fast, it's not going to work out with this one. It's just going to taste like a hot ashtray. You're not going to like it. So nice, slow smoking, and you're good to go. So yeah, the half pipes, definitely a success. And a huge thank you again to the person who sent these to me. Very, very cool of you. I'm glad to have finally tried it, and I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised with it. It's every bit of, you know, it met every expectation I had for it, and it was even cheaper than I thought it would be. So pretty cool stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.